In this video I'm going to show you how you can put pages in a certain playback sequence and then assign that playback sequence to a channel which allows you to play the pages back on your TV screen in that particular sequence. Let's start out with the pages. As you can see we don't have any right now but I can add some and instead of creating them from scratch I'll create them, I'll select a few from uh, the page samples in the page catalog. Um, it will automatically uh, start in a rename mode and if you don't want to rename this slide just press uh, or click next to the slide and it will exit the rename mode. Let's add another one, this one for example. Okay, so now I have two pages and let's say I want to play these back in a certain sequence then I have to add them to a playlist. Uh, I open the playlist pane and you can see that there are none here yet, but I can add one simply by clicking this and call this, let's say, playlist one. And by clicking on it, I get the menu and I can select edit and it will reveal a kind of film strip to which I can add these pages by simply drag and dropping them onto that film strip. And when I press preview, I can preview these pages as they're play, being played back in that particular sequence. And there you go. That's the first page. And each page gets a default uh, playback duration of 15 seconds. So after 15 seconds it will transition to the next page. And I'll show you in a sec how you can easily uh, change that default playback duration. And after this second page, uh, the playlist ends, and, and what it does is that it will start playing again from the very first page. So there you go, see? And it will continue playing endlessly that way. As you can see, I have a button here which allows me to edit the playback duration, and I click that, I see 2 times 15 seconds. I can change that to 5 seconds, for example, 5 seconds for this one, and when I press save, it has been saved. And you can see the total playback duration for this playlist on the right hand side which is 10 seconds. So if you press preview again you'll see that at this time the page will only display for 5 seconds. There you go. And so on. Okay. So I can close this playlist if I like by simply pressing escape or it also closes if I open this menu again. See? There you go. Now let's say I want to add another page. Let's take this totally off-topic page on winter tires. What I can do also, I don't have to first click edit, but I can simply drag a page onto the playlist and it will append it to the end. Note that it automatically uh, sets the playback duration to 15 seconds again. So if I, you know, if I want to have that set to 5, I have to do that manually. Save that. And I can rearrange the slides in whatever way I like that way. And if I say, well, I don't want to have a certain slide in there, I can simply drag it out and it will be deleted from that playlist. It's that easy. Now, for the last concept, the concept of channels. What you see here is uh, a channel and you see it has a playback address. And what that means is that on your TV screen where you have your web browser, you have to make sure that you point the web browser to this particular address. And if you, uh, uh, if you start the web browser on this address, it will start playing the playlist that is in this channel. But currently I don't have a playlist in this channel, so if I press it, it will say so. It says this channel does not contain a playlist. Now what I simply need to do is drag in a playlist like so and you see that the current playlist is now set to playlist 1. Press this again and you'll see what happens if the TV starts playing this back and there's the pages in that playlist. And it may come as no surprise that I can easily for example copy this playlist and then drag in the other playlist. So if I have different playlists, for example, with different pages or different playback sequences, I can simply change that on the fly while the TV is playing back uh, the contents of a channel so that it can switch easily between different playlists. 
Well, that's it. I hope that was clear. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us uh, or check our website for more information. Thanks.